Praise the Lord. Yeah. I think uh, we did this Bible studies, uh, you know. I want us to open to Genesis 30. Let me, let's start from 13. Amen. Genesis chapter 30, verse 13. Then Leah said, I am happy for the daughters will call me blessed. So she called his name Asher. Now Reuben went in the days of wheat harvest and found mandrakes in the field and brought them to his mother Leah. Then Rachel said to Leah, please give me some of your son's mandrakes. But she said to her, is it a small matter that you have taken away my husband? Would you take away my son's mandrakes also? And Rachel said, therefore he will lie with you tonight for your son's mandrakes. 16. When Jacob came out of the field in the evening, Leah went out to meet him and said, you must come in to me, for I have surely hired you with my son's mandrakes. And he lay with her that night. And God listened to Leah, and she conceived and bore Jacob a fifth son. 18. Leah said, God has given me my wages because I have given my maid to my husband. So she called his name Issachar. Then Leah conceived again and bore Jacob a sixth son. And Leah said, God has endowed me with a good endowment. Now my husband will dwell with me because I have borne him six sons. So she called his name Zebulun, 21, after she bore a daughter and called her name Dinah. Then God remembered Rachel and God listened to her. Uh, and uh, Okay, 22, then God remembered Rachel the prayer of Rachel and God thought of her and opened a womb so that she will conceive. So she conceived and gave birth to a son. God remembered Rachel. So all this while Rachel been praying and Rachel praise the Lord but nobody has this thing, but God himself closed the womb. He closed the womb of Rachel and Leah keep giving birth, keep giving birth, and Rachel is sitting down. You see your friend, you and your friend are praying the same prayer, doing the same thing. It's not necessarily mean that Rachel is doing anything wrong. Rachel is not doing anything wrong. Rachel, Aram will say, Rachel is not doing anything, but God himself decide to close the womb of Rachel, that Rachel shouldn't conceive. She's not barren. She's, she's not. The Bible says she's been praying. So we have to be very careful. Do you understand? You pray every day. You, almost every one of us go through it. You pray every day. You believe him. You trust him. Your faith is in him. And you are praying by you. You don't see to you don't see to see that whatever that seemed that, that whatever you are praying God is answering God was not answering Rachel so for a moment the mind the name of Rachel Rachel was out of the mind of God God sees the prayer he hears the prayer you understand but every time Leah go in and pray and then God uh, hear the prayer and he answer God hear the prayer and the answer. God hear the prayer and the answer. You see some people that you you just you pray for them and then you see God just break them through. Hello. Sometimes you just even introduce somebody and then the Lord give a while all of a sudden the word just come to pass. Meanwhile, you have your word for five years, ten years. You don't see you don't it don't seems like the word is manifesting. Leah keep giving birth. So you can imagine you are in the same household. You are in the same church. You are in the same organization. You are in the same company. You're doing everything what is right by the other person. Keep 
every time promotion, 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 promotion. Then you're going to ask yourself, but God, you understand? So Rachel keeps seeing the sister, and the sister keeps giving birth. She just want only one. Do you understand? Leah go in, come by the following month, she's pregnant. Le Rachel go in every month, the blood is coming. Every month, she keeps seeing the blood. But Rachel push, and then another one comes. Rachel push, and another one. But Leah push, and another one comes. But Rachel, but the Bible says, then God remembered. So you're going to ask, so did God forget about me? Is God not hearing my prayer? Sometimes you come to a place, you, you come to a place in your life and you pray, you fast, you do everything that you know to do. You sow seed, you give, you do everything and it seems that God is not hearing you go to church every Sunday, Friday, Wednesday, name it. Every time the door is open, you are there. Um, we'll see. Sometimes if you Rachel will be crying, sometimes you cry yourself to sleep. Hello? You cry you cry yourself to sleep. And you wake up, you you wipe your face or wash your face, and you keep moving and you understand. And you say, God, remember. I was talking to someone and the person said that she was spending time in someone's house and then she was just worshiping and worshiping the person was not there you understand it's like okay let's say how do i put, let's say that you know you are traveling and you ask someone oh can you stay in my house for me because i'm traveling but you don't have your own place so you say when she, the person said when i was there i was started putting worship music on and I was just worshiping, worshiping. And I say, God, I just trust you that one day I will have my own place like this that I can worship. You say, a year exactly. The person say, a year exactly. It's, I think he just dawned on that person that he have his own place. He bought his own house. She bought her own house and moving and everything. So she just remembered that I, I was worshiping. It doesn't mean that God is not hearing the prayer. God is hearing. He hears the prayer. But why do God choose? That's why he say, my ways are not your ways. Then finally, he remembered Rachel. He remembered Rachel and then he finally opened the womb. He closed the womb. So that should let us know that nobody has power and authority over our life. If anything going on in our life, you go to interview, don't get a job, don't blame Satan, don't do anything. As a matter of fact, give God a praise. I don't know why you choose not to give it to me. But I give you the praise. I don't know what is behind this, but your ways are not my ways. The way you think is different from the way I think. You know best. But it comes to a point if you don't take care, you feel like God don't love you. How many of you? You even forget things God have done for you. Some things God have done. But the very particular thing you are looking for, you want so bad that you want it. It seems that God has closed. Rachel wants only a child. He wants only a child. The love of the husband, he have it. Everything. Sometimes, you know, some relationship will be so bad and sour and you don't know why the relationship sometimes have to be like that for the other person that people have to learn. So when you come back together, you learn to respect, you learn to submit, you learn to appreciate. Are you getting it? Yes. You learn to appreciate it. You learn to realize that, let me put down my ego, let me put down my, 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 my how do I say it? It's like, uh, uh, manipulation. You manipulate, but yet you don't know you are manipulating. Hello? Because everything that happened, it is for us to learn. The Lord uses the experience to teach us. And we become a better person. You understand? Because Rachel had so much love. The husband loved Rachel so much. You know, sometimes it's like parents that you love your children. You love them so much. No, you have to love them. But at the same time, you have to learn to discipline the person also. 
whether parent or whether any authority figure and everything. Because why? If you don't do that, the love and everything whatsoever you are giving to that person can also at the same time destroy the person. Hello? Rachel was so loved. All, he want, all she wanted was just a child. He said, God, remember. When I, when I read, I said, God, remember. So, God, did you forget about Rachel? You wake up every morning and you see your rival pregnant. <laughs> she just gave birth. The following six months, she's pregnant again. Six months will not even come. You know, some people, right? They give birth, birth, birth. Then they get to a point that they get angry at God. Why do you, make, all the time, me alone, I get pregnant? And somebody is somewhere is also crying. I know a lady that the husband loved and adored this lady. Oh, my God. The husband worshipped the ground this woman walked on. And one day I asked her, I, I was shocked. When I walk into the house, she's to be my neighbor across. You walk into the house, her, her legs are on the, on the chair. Don't do anything. The man cook, the man clean, the man do everything. And every time I go there, I say, hey, God. And one day, we were talking and I asked. He said, oh, I'm getting divorced. I couldn't comprehend it. I said, why are you getting? He said, because the man is too clingy. That was the word. He said, he's too clingy. Somebody is praying for the husband to be one. I just shook my head. I said, wow, so you are divorcing because, you understand, the man is what? Can you give me the man loves too much? So she needed, she said, I need a breathing space. she divorced yeah it was years later I saw her married again Start talking about it I was talking about the boy how the boy her son have turned out I said you're divorced of course that he said I just say you are enjoying you are happy but you're not thinking about your child you're not thinking about the happiness of that boy you're not thinking about the happiness of your children you put your joy before your children Hello? So Rachel was so loved. The only thing that she don't have is to have a baby. But the Bible says after praying and praying and crying, the Bible said that then God remembered him. Remembered him. May God remember you and I. Certain prayers you have prayed. It doesn't mean that he's not hearing. It doesn't mean that you are doing something bad. It doesn't mean that you understand. Sometimes God decides and God choose to take us through. He purposely closed the womb of Rachel. Hello. I'm looking at Rachel's life. I realize that regardless, after giving birth and all that, this woman did not, with all the love the husband was giving her, she did not even enjoy, she did not even live for long. The Lord remembered Rachel and opened the womb. And she bare and she conceived. She did not only conceive ordinary, look at all the children all of them had. Look at them all. She gave birth to to the, to the deliverer. When things are being delayed in your life and things are going the way it is going and you think, some of us, we think that God has forgotten. Yes, he forgets us for a moment. A moment can be five years. A moment can be a year. A moment. Nobody have control over my life except God. He determines what should happen. It doesn't matter whatsoever. It doesn't matter whatever that goes on. Because he say he forgot Rachel. And then he remembered Rachel. And she, oh, he opened the womb. Nobody, eh? Nobody should say that, oh, me, I'm good. I know how to make a boy. 
You are a liar. Sometimes I hear some men, oh, I know how to make a bar. I say, shut your mouth. Human beings are created by God. Do not think yourself highly over anyone and thinking that, oh, because you are this. Do not think that it's because you are beautiful, because you, your life where you are, remember God. You say he remember. So when God remembers somebody, when God remembers you, do whoever that started before you, you can come and overtake that person. Rachel gave birth to who? Joseph. The man that everybody will need. The man that everybody has. When you study the word of God and realize that the same thing happened to Hannah. He gave birth. Hannah gave birth to the first prophet, which is Samuel. Not any ordinary. Tell your neighbor, I don't envy you. And God help me not to envy anybody or jealous anybody. Do you know that the more you jealous, Rachel here was one point of one point in time was jealousing the sister. Whoever you jealous, God will bless that person in front of you. Whoever you envy, the more you are envying secretly, the person's life is moving on, is going on because they don't even know you are jealousing them. And God is just blessing them. You envy someone, the Lord will bless that person in front of you. You jealous someone, God will bless. The more you are tearing down the person, that some people, they have to tear down certain people before they feel good. So people can look at them there. And then anytime they hear the person's name, they have nothing good. It's opportunity God is giving to you when you hear that person's name. God is giving you platform to elevate them. When someone is bringing, talking down, shut the mouth, shut that person's mouth. You say, no, I don't want to hear this. But don't be partaker to be tearing a person down. The more you do that, the more God blesses them. Rachel was envying. The more she envied, the more Rachel, the Rachel was envy Leah. The more, meanwhile, Leah's eye is crooked. Though. Rachel is very pretty. God saw that, that you have the heart of the man. Your sister don't have the heart. So I will open her womb to conceive. Instead of her celebrating her sister, rejoicing with her sister, she was so busy. Ah, why not? Because when a, a woman has a man's heart, whatever you tell the man, the man is going to do it. That is why it is very important that you don't use that to manipulate. You don't use that to control. We were not created to control any human being. Not a husband, not a wife, not children, not anything. Rachel was forgotten. A womb was closed. Every year, Leah pumping, pumping. Every to a point, she had to bring the maid, the maid to conceive, and she's sitting there. Hey. You are asking yourself about what happened. But because God has closed the womb. He said there is no barrier. There shall be no barrier in my house. He decided. He, he created a human being. He created us. He knows everything in our body. He knows what to do. Sickness obey him. Everything obey him. So in the moment that she opened the womb of Rachel. The late Rachel start con she just conceived. The Bible says she, he remembered. He may God remember us. Ha! Yehovah, remember me. May God remember you in any situation, prayers you have been praying. Whatever that it has been difficult. And whatever that you want in your life. That you have desired to have. And God sees it that. Ah! I will show mercy to whom mercy. You see, he decides to show mercy to whoever he wants to show mercy. Say, God, remember me. And I don't think you, you heard him. He said, God, remember me. 
Do you know that it is the same God that will make somebody remember? When God remember you, your enemies now begin to remember. Remember. Do you understand? Things you have not done. Do you understand? Some people just wake up. All of a sudden, they just don't like you. They have story to tell, talk about you. And the story that they talk about, you have not done them anything. But the enemy enter through them. And they begin to speculate and say all kinds of stuff. And all of a sudden, they just dislike you. But when God remembers you, your enemies even themselves be, be, to begin to be what? Be at peace with you. May God remember us. May God remember our family. May God remember us. May God remember your finances. May God remember your call, the call on your life. It's like you have a call. You know you have a call. You are praying and praying and praying. You pray and pray. There are some things you pray. You are praying, you know. You are doing everything right. People are doing all kinds of stuff. You are not able to do some because you fear him. But nothing seems to work. Nothing you pray, but you don't see the prayer that you are praying. You don't see the answer, the prayer. You know, when you pray, there should be, the should, answers should come. And you pray, but there's no answer. So then, I said something, let me tell you. Not everything that is exciting, not everything that is just in that it means that God is there. No. Don't be moved by excitement. Things are doing this and people like No. You have to learn to know God's voice. There are some people that the enemy has spoken to their heart and they think it's God. And if you don't take it into prayer and begin to pray and pray for God to really speak to you about the situation, you will now going to join in agreement with them because why? Ah, I'm going see. Somebody will say that, ah, or maybe because she did something, if she did that, she did that. No. God choose to close the womb. God choose, God allow whatsoever that going on to happen in your life. The battle is not your battle. Some that you fight and you get angry, situation happen. Instead of you begin to pray and thank him, and, and then see, when you are begin to pray and thank him and sit back, you just sit back and just watch the salvation and trust him that, ah, but that you, you cannot, how do I say, you cannot, you cannot, you cannot, you know, try to, uh, trying to pass, trying to, cross over to do whatever you want to. You cannot. When God himself is standing in the way, when God himself has closed the womb, who, where would you go? When God himself said, you know, I need you to stay here for a little bit. Uh, when, when, when God himself is saying all that, and God is in the midst of all that situation, the womb is closed. And some to the womb is open. They get scared. That was me years ago. You get scared to even go there. Because ah, I'm going to get pregnant. So you scared. Because God has opened the womb. Has opened the door. He has opened the door for children. He has opened the door. You see that when he opened the door for finances. It's like a pipe that you open. The water keeps running. It keeps running. You turn right, bless you. You turn here, bless him. People, God make people to remember you. You don't even ask and then they are blessing you. You see, he do that so that nobody can take the credit. Sometimes God can allow people to be out of our life because he doesn't want nobody to stand and say, I did this. It was because of me, because of that, because, no. He will bring you to a point, a place that nobody will take the credit in your life. Aramose. You might be down today. Aramose. Sometimes you say, okay, oh, you're not doing this, so let me leave you. Let me desert. Let me go. Let me do that. God permit it for everybody to desert. Oh, you don't know how to. You're a lazy person. 
since I've been with you, you don't work. I have to work and do everything. So you think, okay, no, I'm leaving. And God can permit it. And then God all of a sudden goes, <laughs> just begin to, rem he remember you and begin to bless you. And you are wondering after a while, you are wondering, wow, I thought, no, I have seen this over and over. Because you think without this person, you think with this, no, I will remove and make you stand alone. Because I want to take the credit for myself. I want to take the glory for myself. He said, when God remember, may God remember you and I. May he remember every aspect of our life. In area that you struggle, may God remember. May God remember our prayer life. You are praying, but you don't seem that the prayer is being heard. But, but it's like you are praying, you are just, you just, you know, talking and releasing. And then uh, uh, you're releasing. You come, you finish prayer, and then you, start, you go back to your desk, you start crying again. When you are in the area of prayer, you are excited. You feel the presence of God. You see that you are not by yourself. After a while, after the prayer is distant, then you go back to your distant. Then you realize that, no, I can't conceive. Month has passed. Maybe the, the beginning of the month, you were so excited. Oh, I'm going, to, my, I'm going to miss my period. I'm going to miss my period. And then uh, the month comes, and then the period, you don't miss it month after month, day after day. You trust God, you believe. But you say, God, remember. Uh, a thousand years is as a day. You're going to look back from years to come, from years mark it. And you look back and you're going to realize that everything that you pray and everything you believe has come to pass and has been fulfilled. And you're going to, you're going to sit and realize that, oh, wow, you look back and everything you never thought I like, can happen. It is happening for you. You never thought that that can be. I'm talking about we are serving a living God. A God that here, but he chooses and decides what he needs to do, what should happen. You cannot control, you cannot. Rachel could not do anything. But sit back when God himself was ready. The Bible said that then he remembered her. When he remembered her, she conceived. It is not Satan doing anything. It's not everything you think it is Satan. No. We give too much credit to him. Yes, I understand his, his wicked ways and his schemes and everything. But as a matter of fact, he is not in charge of anything. Praise the Lord. It is God allow him to do his work. If he have to do his work, he do his work. He have to chase you, he will chase you. If he have to, whatever that he need to do, he will do it because he's also doing his work. He have to report. And when God gets ready, he said, no, this one, don't touch it. This is mine. No, don't go there. He remembered Rachel. He remembered Rachel. And Rachel conceived. Not an ordinary person that she, you know, she conceived. She, she, she conceived Joseph. The dreamer. The man, the young man that threw him that the Lord would save Israel. Praise the Lord. That he would save Israel. She, con she conceived. Diana, uh, Leah had to give birth to six boys and one girl. So that means that she gave birth to who? Seven. If you count the children of Jacob, you count all them, they, uh, we always say 12 tribe of this, but there's Diana. The only female among them. I have applied for the position. I have applied for the position. Every time, they will pick somebody else. No. No one is in charge. Because what God wants to give you to sometimes, what God wants to give you to us, when we see that things are not being answered, is delaying, is because the whatever is coming is bigger and greater than anything. But we don't know. He has to prepare us to be able. Rachel conceived Joseph. She's not an ordinary boy. 
a young man that can dream, that can, the Lord, the Lord can show him the future, that he can see the future. He can discern what will become that people will not even believe. His life at the same time, when you study the life of jo Joseph, his life was also a lonely life. Every time that you see God want to use someone, God want to walk or walk with someone, majority of those people life a lonely life. It's just between them and God. Tonight, we are praying that God have mercy and remember me. Remember me. Remember me in every aspect of my life. Some look at their life that, hey, I'm looking at my life. You are counting the years. I am 40. I don't have anything to show for. This is something I hear a lot, you know, from people. I am this, 30. I don't have anything to show for. I am this, this. I don't have nothing to show for. I am that. But let me tell you something. I'm a living witness of that. For years, there are certain things I can't even share here. For years, I want to say, I'm raising children. So my focus is raising my children. Sometimes the Lord can put this thing on it. Do you understand? He can also even allow the enemy to manipulate and to fight and thinking that he's winning. I was sharing with my this thing, my husband. I said, a man that I talked to, somebody, uh, somebody was talking to this man. He's a man of God. Because me, I'm not used to I didn't grow up in a way you have to call pastor and then pastor this and go talk to this prophet. I don't know how to do that. I've never done it in my life until God began to raise me myself and start praying. I have learned to pray for myself. I have learned to take issue to God for myself. I have learned that. The Lord has taught me how to hear his voice. I learned all this under the feet of the Holy Ghost. Because I didn't grow up in a family that go to church and go to this thing, go to that. No. It was his grace. So I'm, I am standing with this lady and she's talking on the phone. He said, oh, man, Doris, would you, do you want to talk to her? This man wants to say hello to you. I said, who is that man? And then he said, he mentioned his name. And in my head, why would I want to talk to the man? For what? I said, okay. I took the phone. Hello. He said, oh, man, I just want to talk to you. I said, about what? And she started asking me some questions. Do you have the, do you have that? He said, yeah. Do you have the, the papers of that? I said, but where is this man going with this one here? In my head, I said, no. He said, put those papers on the ground and walk on because somebody is working against you. Doesn't want you to do this and that and that. I will never forget. Then I said, okay. I said, I have to go upstairs. I went upstairs, brought the paper, put it on the ground and start walking. On. That was years ago. I started walking on it. And then he said, repeat after me. And I started repeating after the person and everything. Years later, the Holy Ghost now revealed it to me myself that this is what they have done. But God permitted that. But when the time came and when God remembered me, everything that they say I will not do, it is what I have done. May God remember you. May God remember you. They say you will not be able to do this. And I will see the Holy Ghost when I'm praying. The Spirit of God will begin to bring in and, you know, pray through me and begin to come out. And I'm praying, I'm breaking, I'm praying, I'm breaking. I say, Jesus. And I start walking around, I'm walking around through the Holy Spirit. They say, what you know? May God remember you. You see, when God begins to remember you, things you have not done that you expect or you desire to do, that you want to do, and it is God's also will, you will see that he will give you the speed to be able to do it within a short time. Because when God remembered, <laughs> God remembered Rachel, she conceived. Not only Joseph, but God another one. She now said, God, remember me not only, only this one, Joseph, that I have conceived, but give me. She you understand? Said, so she conceived and gave birth to a son. And she said, God has taken away the dis my disgrace and humiliation. She named him Joseph. May he add and said, may the Lord add to me another son. So as God remember you now, the door has opened, the gate is open. Everything that you need to do, everything that you have to do, everything. No problem, I must say. Thank you, Lord. That he will not take what is in your mouth and give it to another. Do you understand? He will not take, nobody can take or divert your star. 
Nobody can say it because it was God himself that closed the womb of Rachel. No, it was nobody. When the enemy is fighting because he has what? God has permitted. God have allowed, let them fight. You see, he let you jungle, 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 jungle. You let you be doing all kinds of stuff against the child of God, against the people of God, and you are succeeding and succeeding and succeeding. Let me tell you, when God begins to remember that person, ah, you even have time. When God remember you, you even have time. You even have time for bridesmaid. You even have time for this thing. If I even have time for all that kind of thing. You see, when God now, when his time and season for your life is up, for you, he remember you in his season that he work in. Nobody. Ah. Nobody. You see that everything move accordingly. Everything work together for his glory. All now come together. You begin to understand. Is it not years ago? I'm trying to even buy a house and I don't seem to buy the house. It looks like everywhere is tightening. It looks like everywhere. But today, you understand? You're trying to, you know, comprehend what is going on. But you cannot even phantom understand because all now is working together. Everything. Nobody is doing anybody. Nobody. Poor Master. He said he remember Rachel. God remember. I mean, did he forget Rachel? Just for a moment, he forgot Rachel. He forgot. He said, you know what? You stay here. What I need to do or what I want to do with your life is greater. You stay here. Let me now work on uh, Leah. Let me just give Leah. With all the children, Leah is Leah still not happy. She wasn't happy. She want to belong. She want every. She she think that, every, but she was not happy. And Rachel came in. When the time of Rachel came, and she have Joseph. You and I know Joseph part that he played. The amazing man, young man. He was not. She was not. You know. She was. It's not an ordinary person that she 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 have in she have in her womb. She was carrying destiny. She she conceived a prophet, a seer, a dreamer, a ah, interpretator of dreams. She was not ordinary. Do you know your breakthrough? And do you know what is coming? To, do you know what God is about to do? Who you are? Nobody can abort whatever God intends to do for you. Nobody. No witch or demon. Nobody. As he said, that something is about to happen and take place. Life's about to turn around and life's about to change. With twinkle of an eye, things are about to be elevated and promoted. We're about to get to a place that many will be, they will be very ashamed. They will not understand because they, they've seen you just like Rachel crying and everything. Look at all the children that Rachel, Leah had. Look at all of them. Only Rachel, only Joseph. Only Joseph. Huh. I want you to declare that who am I that God is so mindful of me? People are pointing fingers, saying all kinds of stuff. They desire, they wish that everything concerns you will crumble. Nothing will work. They want to see shame and humiliation on you. They, they, their expectation for you is not good. But good news. <laughs> there is good news for you and I. The blessings of God are at no sorrow. If God has spoken a word even one word, and you have seen it manifest. You have seen it come to pass. Even one time in your life, then know that something is about to take place. The change that is about to happen and come, it will come in a way that many will not expect it. Aramu say. The other day, uh, with some few, I told you that we say Corona, Corona, Corona. And Corona is this. I say, what is coming is even uh, is greater and is distant than Corona. 
recently somebody just sent me a link and someone was talking about it he wanted me to, the person wanted me to see or to hear that pastor you spoke about this before now look at that it will take place that we don't even understand you understand but god know his own god know his own god know his own just like the way he remembered rachel we have not been forgotten by the almighty God. I have not been forgotten by the almighty God. The one that have my being and have everything has not forgotten me. Even if you have forgotten, it is for a moment. But God is remember, has remembered me and is about to do a new thing. And what is about to do will spring forth. He said, eyes have not seen, neither ears have it ever heard. Neither has he entered to the heart of man. Everything. Do you understand? It is a good news, and I give God the praise. A thousand years is a, as a day before God. Look at how long it took, but Rachel did what? Conceive. How long it would take. You're going to sit back and with some of you, with your baby in your arms like this. You're sitting there, but the baby is in your arm in the realm of the sea. You are just shaking the baby like this. You will not believe that even your own breast is feeding your own child. You will not believe because why? You have waited and waited. You have prayed and prayed. Now you have come to a point or a place in your life. You have just, you know, let it go. Just like let it go. You understand? You let it go means that you have prayed, you have believed and the time that you expect or expecting it to manifest or come to pass that time did not come for you according to you, but your ways are not God's ways neither your thoughts are his thoughts you try to, it's like you figure everything out for yourself you are a figurer, you figure things and some people you know they figure things they have to figure things and things have to make sense to them. And things have to be the way they want it. That is how. It makes them feel like they are losing it because you figure things out. God is sitting back. Some of you want you to continue to sit and figure things out. Figure. You are a figurer. You figure. How many of you here figure things? Tap your hand. That means you are you are playing God. You figure things out. You figure things and you analyze. If you continue to do that, you are playing smart. And don't play smart with God. Because it has to be the way you want it. Even when somebody trying to bring, you know, give you understanding, trying to help you, that this way you cannot continue to move or move this way. The way you move, the way you do things, you need to come down, put it away, and just be a child and a baby and allow God. Let me tell you, God is in control and is in the midst of situation. You cannot determine, you cannot tell him how to move and how to work on things and how to answer prayer. He answer how and when he wants to answer. You can also close. You understand? You can pray, 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 pray. And then you, he, it's like he's not hearing you. Going somewhere. That devil is a liar. Stop analyzing. And stop figuring. Yeah, he's showing me. You figure things. You try. You figure. You are someone that wants to figure. This is not your study. You know how you study and you sit and you study and you figure and you're trying to you understand. No, God is not like that. Put that thing aside. When you are when you figure, you're trying to play smart. But if you are smart, he's the same God that gave you that smartness. So you cannot use the something that he gave you that smart to play on him. So 
say if you don't take care, when that time comes for you to begin to minister, you will use that figuring and smartness in your, in your teaching, in your preaching, in everything because you think. He said, no, it doesn't work. It's a setup the enemy setting you up. They set you up for a long time. They have set you up for a long time. So now it's time. Just put it down. Hello? Put it down. And just come to him so he can make you the fishes of men. Allah Musi. Even the disciples of Jesus that so master, they've mastered the sea. They know how, where the fish is. Let, us, let them throw their net. They can throw. Even them, they throw. They couldn't catch fish until Christ came in. Allah Musa. You are even too good for your own good. Figuring. You know, people figure, they want to figure things out. You cannot walk with God and try to do what? Try to figure things out. Let me figure things out. Ekoro master. You cannot, try. it's like you have something and you lost it. Okay? And you're trying to figure. Meanwhile, you have the Holy Ghost over there. Holy Ghost, please. Remember me where I put whatever that it is. How many, of, how many of us here that sometimes we lose some things and we try and we can't find it? The Holy Ghost is there for us. That we can depend. Even if you are cooking, Holy Ghost, this is the recipe. When I cook, let this food taste way better than you understand. Hello? Let me tell you, the Mother's Day, I say, ah, I'm not preaching. Let me cook at home. When I cook, I was tired. So I went to sleep. So when I came, the jollof, I put it in the oven. I could, I could see the brown. I say, Holy Ghost, let people never taste of it. But let them taste the food that is good, is better. So you don't know why I was asking around, how is the food? How is the food? It's so, wow, it tastes good, it's good. I said, thank you, Holy Ghost. You understand? You ask the Holy Spirit to help you in everything. Hello? When you come to God, come to him as a child. Don't be too smart for your own destiny. And another thing, do I always say, I say, do not and never look down on human beings. Don't ever feel better than someone. Because God will bless that person in front of you. He will elevate that person. What you think, do you understand? He will surprise you. Hello? So stop figuring things out. I know why Holy Ghost is talking to you this way. He says, stop figuring things out. And stop being, it's like, how do I put it? Thank you, Holy Ghost, help me. Stop trying to be, it's like trying to be a mother over someone. You know how some people, they talk to you, they talk to you like, I gave birth to you. How many of you understand what I'm saying? God says, sit back. Just sit back. And stop trying to be a mother. Talk to a person that you talk to that person, you understand? Because the Bible says we are brothers and what? Sisters. Don't try to touch like when you are doing that, you're trying to have control. Control. Control is something God don't like. Hey. Control is something that God don't do what? He don't like. You want to see, he says, submit yourself one to what? Another. Whether you are older than that person, you still have to submit. Doesn't matter, I'm a pastor. I have to humble myself before thee. Hello? May God remember Rachel. May God remember us. May God remember you and I. May God remember your marriage. May God remember wherever that man is, wherever that woman is. You understand? Some people are. They make themselves that they, they are perfect. Every man, they have a problem. They can see their fault. And some people, they can see mistakes of women. Meanwhile, you yourself, if God is revealing you yourself, if you continue that right before you realize you are 60 years and you're still single, because nobody is perfect. Nobody is good for you. Hello? Oh, Hello? Are we here? 
No one is good. There is no perfect human being anywhere. There is no perfect wife anywhere. There is no perfect husband anywhere. Nobody is perfect. How many of you believe it? So stop looking for Mr. Perfect. No one is perfect. Some people, the person do a little mistake. How many of you uh, see, understand this? Huh? <laughs> they wash their hands. No one is perfect. Too. No one is perfect. Hello? May the Lord remember us. Even you. Some tolerate you. Some people have tolerated you. But you don't have this thing to tolerate anybody. God has tolerated you. Hello? No one is perfect. God sit back and watch all this thing. Look at how God is revealing, say, analyzing. Do you understand? He's talking to you. Analyzing. You analyze things. Things have to be, make sense to you before. Hey, you can't walk with God like that. He said then, you will leave your father's side. This one will leave the mother's side and you come together. Are they not two people? But he said you become what? One. Does that make sense? doesn't make sense. What you feel, your spouse needs to feel it. When you become genuinely one. Some people, you have to work on them, be patient, some, whatever God have to do, and then after a while, after God will work on both of you, when you come together, you begin to do what? Enjoy each other. And you realize it. So many relationships have been, have just been like this. That you could have saved. I'm not talking about the one you have to buy force by force. You have to learn. Me, before you see me do this, I have sat back for years. I don't get up and do this. I give time, sit back, and go through whatever you take me through and watch you. I will not change. I will not give you attitude. I will not roll my eye on you. I will not do that. Why? I stand so you can learn. Our people say, so pastor, when are you going to do this and let the person do that? That means you are taking everything. That means you allow everything. That I hear people say it a lot. They come to me, they sit with that. This thing is going on and you are not, blah, 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 and you are not, blah, 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 and you are not, sometimes I will sit and tell you your own that you have done to me. Did you see me act the any way towards you? Hello? Hello? Some people, they don't know that you beat them in private. But some too, you don't do anything to them. But they don't see the private one. They don't see all that. Do you understand? You do this. We're talking about Rachel, but God is bringing all this thing in. Easily, you get easily. You move away. You just move yourself. And I'm also. Ah, the Lord said you have lost so many men because of that character. You've lost so many people because you don't have the patience to tolerate. And that I'm going say. So the enemy has also masterminded this. He has also, you understand? This is Satan, let me tell you. He has also followed and know what he can bring that he know you do this. Hello? And some people, you dare to rebuke them. Keep on. Yeah. It doesn't matter. It can be 180 and if God wants to rebuke you, he'll do what? He'll break you. If not, he'll push you to the corner. You don't want God to push you to the corner with situations. So. It's like he's sitting back watching you. Watching you. Very soon. Allow God. Let God let God work on you. Let God push you to that corner. And let him push you there. Push you there. You want to come out. You can't come out. 
you want to do that you can't do because he's making, see, he's bringing the perfect version of you out. Why humility you can humble? If not, you acquire all these things. So you acquire all these things. You have all these things. Adam will say, Listen, what God is saying. You acquire all these things. You have all these things. You have all the degree. You buy all the houses. You have all these things. But in patience. Inability to be patient. But God is patient with you. You want God to be patient. But you don't want to be patient. But I'm all saying. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Say, I'm going somewhere. Say, I'm going somewhere with the Lord. God loves you. Whom he loves is the one that he talk like this to. It's because he loves you. He will not rebuke you in public. If God cannot rebuke you, that means that he does his hands. You understand? He does his hands over you. Because he cannot rebuke you. You are I am that I am. Yeah. You have become I am that I am. You want God to submit to you. You want to control the whole family. You want to be the one that rich. You want to be the only rich one in your family. You want to control. Everybody should bow before you because you are God. Not a lie. Because you are God. So they should submit to you because you are the one with money. You are the one with money in the family. And some of you, the sibling to some of you, God is trying to do something with you and then you go talk. And then they will give you some advice. I bought it. They know that if you continue, this thing here will generate, this thing here will be big. Adam will say, you know what I'm talking about? And the devil is a liar. Say minus me, not this time. Father God, as you remember me, as I have been remembered, Father, give me wisdom. How to go about it. Some things I need to shut my mouth. Help me to shut. You know that some people, eh, they will always, whatever they are doing, they cover it too, but they want to know what you are doing. How many of you know what I'm talking about? They find a way to know about you. They want to know how you earn, how much you earn. Me, I intentionally will tell you too. Because I know what you are doing. I just act like I don't know what you are doing. You want to know how I, got, I came about it. You want to know how this, you, you want to know what would that do to you. So you can compare that I make more than you. I am more than you. So that when it's a pe the person is doing something, you want to calculate. How did you, even when you buy a car, can you imagine? While we are living in America, everybody have credit. Hey! That you can go to car lot and buy a, and buy a car and drive her out with your credit. Hello? Hello? Are we here? They want to know what is going on in your life. They find a way to dig the information to find, just to compare. Ah. God. Put cradle. Lock. Put lock in our... Uh, lock our mouth like this. Let us open to the right people. People that genuinely desire good for us. Not the person that even when they desire good, they desire good, they pray us through, but they're not going to stand somewhere and say that, oh, me. No. No. Hello? Some, they hear good news. They, they know good news. They know what you, you need, and they will keep it to themselves. If God sees that if you give me revelation or vision about you, that I will not be happy, why would he give it to me? God will never do that. God loves his people. He will never. He will show to me when he knows that genuinely I will pray and I care and I will counsel that he will bring for his will to manifest in the person's life. It will not give you revelation that you see it and go uh, be a champion over people. Oh, I saw that. I saw it. So what? Hello? 
I say tonight, God has to remember us. Thousand years is as a day. Whatever situation that you've been through or you're going through all these years, or you're thinking that, when will that change? Let me tell you, it's for a moment. It's bringing the best out of you. When the time comes and you remember, you submit to the authority of God. The woman of God in you, this is the situation that is pushing it for that calling to come out. Not because anybody has power, authority over you. God knows what he's doing for a moment. So declare that I will not be a vagabond. Neither my children will be vagabond. He said, my children will not be vagabond. They will not bring shame to me. They will not bring disgrace to me. People will not look at them and begin to laugh. Father, I give you the praise for turning it around. Whatever situation, whatever issue, you are working it together for your glory. Because you have remembered me. I am remembered by you, O oh God. In the name of Jesus. Every aspect of my life. Promotion is my portion. The left and right. Being promoted. But promotion doesn't come from any man. It is not man that promotes human being. It is God that do what? Promote human being. I want you to take your right. Take your finger like this. Like this. And look, look at me. Those of you that have, don't have a house. Say me. As the Lord sits on the throne, I will buy my house. I will buy a house. And I will buy houses. What they say I will not do, that is what I will do. Nothing will stop me. Not the forces of my family. Not witches in my family. Not witch, O oh God. Not witches, O oh God, in my father's house, in my mother's house, whatever area they might be, whether be friends, they cannot stop her. What God has spoken over my life. You see, as a matter of fact, when I was a young child or I was a baby, whatever words uh, they spoke over me, against me, said today God has remembered me. So all those words, uh, all those curses, uh, has been broken. It's been destroyed in the name of Jesus. Are you hearing? Because they say you will not. Let's see. Let's see where you will pass. Come and buy a house. Come and get a, a good job. Come and work. Let's see. He said you will see you. You will see. Just like the book of Kings. You will see if you don't take a we will we'll tremble over you. What they say will not be, it is what it will be. And I must say, so whoever holding me back, who, who, whatever that holding me back, whatever powers that have held me back all these years, God has remembered me. So that powers, you see, when God remember you, that powers have no power to function anymore. They have no power to function anymore. He said, I will not take what is in your mouth and give it to somebody else. That means I will not take what I have given you, what is yours, I will not take it from you and let somebody else have it. No way. God has remembered me. I, ha I have been remembered. Yes. It is not your power. It is not you. If you are not calling me, it's not because you have power not to call me. It is God because God is uprooting my impatience from me. Did you hear that? Now let me explain. Let me explain. Maybe you don't understand. Let's say you have a you have someone, you have a fiance, or you have a guy, or you have a girl, or whatever you have. And the person decides, I ain't talking to you. I ain't calling you. As a matter of fact, I ain't want you. I don't want you. It's not you don't want it. It's God I have allowed it. It's because of some, some of my characteristics. It's bad. I am very impatient person. I feel myself too much. I am all that. 
sometime we, in my head. And God don't like it. So God also delivered us. He now let it, uh, Rachel, right? He will make the person not to call you. As a matter, as a matter of fact, it's like in my language, I don't know why I can't by force. That means that it's like they're not talking to you by force. And when God gets ready, when God remembers you, who is who? That means that God has work on your impatience. God has work on your character, your behavior, your attitude, body language, your eye that you roll. And you are, some people, eh, they are 20 or they can be 16, but they behave like they are 80 years old. God is get, He wants you to look if you are 20, right? You should look 14. Not 20 and you act like a 60 year old woman or man. Where are you going? You are young, but yet you look like it. You are not young. Don't you see how God gives us good old age? You want to be until me, I'm whatever age I am. Me, people tell me I'm 32, 33. I say, God, to God be the glory of. I'm 32. I like it. I don't want to be even the age I am. I'm trying to. I don't. I'm trying to cut it into half. And you, you want to be older? No. Bible said that with good old age. Hello, praise the Lord. You are 18, but you want to act like you are uh, 30. And you want to hang out with 30 people. It's, it's okay. But you want to be 18. And you want people to tell you you are rather 14. That means that you are aging well. You see people that live with grandmothers. When you live with your grandma, you become an old woman, old man by force. They talk like them. Father, I'm say, may God remember, God has remembered you and I. Things will be different. Things will be different in your life. You see, market, whatever, whoever that has forgotten about you, they begin to remember you and be writing you and they expressing their love. Oh, I love you. Oh, hey, I love you. Oh, I cannot live without you. I would die. As a matter of fact, I would die. I would die. If you, don't, if you don't marry me, if you don't be with me, I will die. I will commit suicide. You will hear that in your ears. Stop analyzing. Stop analyzing and stop. You see, stop analyzing your life and things that this is how it's supposed to. That, because it is not there. So you are now, when you do that, you are making God powerless in your life. You are making as if God is not God. God is God. You see, he's the most patient gentleman. He sit back and let you. Ah, Mark, here and there I'm saying. The Lord is here. I say, Eradiman will sue. Give me your, 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 it's like your character, your ways. So God, mommy, my will sue. Give me a man with your character. Give me a woman. Do you understand? But it's a process you will work on you and work and make you a noble woman and make you a respectful woman. People see you and you understand they might not tell, but they want to be like you. But those that you understand, people hate you, jealous you, and not can leave those jealousy people. Demons have entered in them, possess them. Hello? Allah Musi is working. Everything will go accordingly. Everything will move accordingly. Everything. He will bless, you see, he will bless whom he wants to bless. He will bless whom he wants to bless, whom he choose to bless. Whom he choose to elevate and promote and everything. He has chosen to bless you and there is nothing anybody can do about it. When he's ready to promote you, matter of fact, when you're done with everything, school and everything, and when you are in that place, see all these things I'm seeing for this 
I'm seeing for people and all that, all these things, it will manifest. It's just a matter of time. Are you going to see all these things manifest? But God is more concerned about your character, usu. Character. Say usu. Ah, say it again. Usu. That means your character. It is the character that God is more concerned. You see, He can lay hands and cast all the demons in this world from every, from this one. You can see all the vision and all these things. You see me. It's not, that's not that, it's not something that matters to you, but character. Because gifts can make room for you. But your character will determine if you're going to be there. Character. is very important. You let your yes be yes. You don't let your, you say you're a Christian and a child of God. You cannot even let your yes be yes. Today you believe it, tomorrow you change your mind. You say one thing to this person and then you are not consistent of what you do. You're not consistent. You're not consistent like this. You're not. And God wants consistency in our character. Consistency in everything. Hello? We don't stop praying because God has no answer. We keep praying. Say pray without word. The enemy doesn't stop. Oh. When a witch is after your life, they can, yeah, a witch or a wizard can follow you for the rest of your life. Yeah. When you take assignment over you, that assignment, they get tired, they'll give it to a demon. A demon. They'll send demon. They'll send demon. When a demon goes, demons can even say they will not do it because they've been with God in heaven. So they say, uh uh. I ain't going that place, so that door is no. But because witches have not been with God, so they don't know. So they continue. And the Lord also allow them. Allow them to continue to afflict you, afflict you, afflict you. Afflict you, afflict you, and fight you. Some people when I hear them when they talk, I say, Look at that. Hello. Look at how you talking. Don't you know even that witch? God desired that witch to be saved. Afflict you, afflict you, afflict you, and they're afflicting you, and they're afflicting you, afflicting you, and they're afflicting you, and they will afflict you, and they afflict you, afflict you, fight you, fight you. When they see you, it's like, hello, <laughs> hello, hello. Somebody was telling, I said, look at that. I listen to that. I just laugh in my head. I said, my dear, focus on God and leave them. When God remembers you, they will be forgotten. Oh, whatever they are doing, because God has remembered you. Hello? Our life is in the hands of God. The Koromasa. See, somebody say, No, you're not working. You're a lazy woman. I don't want to be with you. You're lazy. You're lazy. They divorce the person. The person working now, I'm paying every time I say, Hey, they surprise. I say, They're using excuses just to divorce you. But they will regret it. Today they've regretted. Hello? Do not, see, do not remove yourself or do not stop it or do not do anything unless God speaks to you. Because if not, you will regret it. We, we don't live in regret. We live because God has spoken. And if you can't hear God, say God. He knows how to talk to people in your spirit. Whatever decision you're making, if there is no peace that comes with it, don't do it. Because God will not ask you to do something and you don't have peace. Don't do. Don't make that decision until the, it comes with peace, until there is peace in your spirit. Because he speaks to us here, our inner man, our spirit. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm going to pray. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. That God, you have remembered me. Thank God that He has remembered you. Yes, He has remembered me. Whatever situation that you have. 
So thank you for remembering this situation. Thank you for remembering, thank you for remembering this situation. Thank, thank you, you for remembering me remembering in, the in the name of Jesus. Thank you that all is working together for your glory. Thank you that all is working together for you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And we will pray for the graduates, those that graduate. A lot of people are graduating. You know, every year that God, everything should go accordingly. Amen. Those that transition going to college, may God make a way. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. May God, if it's financial aid, whatever it is, as a matter of fact, I pay. I pray that God will bless the family that they will pay their tuition out of their own pocket. Amen. If God did it for me, God can do it for you. Amen. Not for your children to finish school and then they have a lot of debt on their head. And they are paying uh, college. How do you call that? Student loan. Student loan. You finish the school, may God give them scholarship. So that they don't have to worry about. So parents will not worry about how the kids are going to go to school. Those that need to go back to school, may God put fire. If they sit in their car, let the seat be hot <laughs> and burn them so much. You don't want to look back tomorrow and regret what you need to do in your 20s you didn't do it. You don't want to look back and regret. Hello? What you need to do, you have to do it. Those that need to go back to school, may God remember them. May God take away their peace until they go back to school. Those that need to, ah, let me say, those that need to go back to school. Some that need to do their master's, but say, ah, me, I'm done. No. God, take away their peace. If it is your will for them to do it, then God, remember them. Put their desires there. As they finish school, as they finish school, let jobs be available. Let jobs be available. Let people work on their school education, you know, on the degree that they work for, they went to school for. May God give them jobs in that field. Those that don't know what field, they, a lot of young people, they don't even know what they, they want to do. Yeah, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to May God give them dreams that they know that this is what I need to go to school for in the name of Jesus. The, may God help them that they will not just pick anyhow. Oh, I just want to because this everybody is doing. You know, some parents will say, "Oh, go to nursing school. Nursing, you finish, you get a job." If it is not nursing, God, let, don't let them go to nursing. Amen. Whatever field that God you have destined for them, it is what will God let them do. Remember them. Remember our youth. Remember them, O oh God, to do what is right by you. Remember them so that they can achieve what they need to achieve in the age that they are in. Remember them that let them not to look back and regret, but rather give God the praise because God, you have remembered them. We are praying for God to remember us. We, no, not even remember. We are thanking him that God, you have remembered me. Don't let me stay back. Stay back. You need to go to school. You need to be in school and you're still at home. Please, don't let a year, a few years, and you're going to regret. Because it is what God wants to shame your enemies. You don't know what God is trying to do with your education. And you just, you're going to regret it if you don't go back. You will regret it so much. So much that you have your baby in your arms and literally cry. Because you should have done this, but you didn't do it. You might want to go back. You want to go go back and complete where you, you know, you left it up. Pick it up again and see the speed God will give you. Go back. If you do the next thing, it will be babies that will come in. It will be babies. Babies are blessings, so. But everything God wants us to achieve that he wants you to do, you want to do it. Give me the zeal, oh God. Remember me and give me the zeal. Give me the desire to go back don't be don't just settle for less just settle just settle father will give you the praise we'll give you the adoration we just want to thank you for remembering us thank you O oh lord that have been remembered by you thank you O oh lord that you have 
remembered me. You are reminding me of what I need to do, what it, what it should be. You are making me understand and giving me the animal same. And even to giving me the visions and everything that what Aram will say. And God will show you your life of a doctor. I'm going to show you your life without a doctor. <laughs> you understand? He's going to show you both lives. And he's not going to force anybody. God don't force anyone to do anything they don't want to do. This is my will. This is what I want you. I need you. I have love, love for you to be. It's up to you. So you make a decision and you choose where. Do you understand? Hello? Somebody say, I want to be a fashion designer, right? I want to be a fashion designer when I first, the time they finish high school. I want to finish a fashion design. I want to do, want to go to fashion design. I say, me, I'm not seeing you as a fashion designer. I'm seeing you in the, the medical field. Do you understand? And there is no way she wants to be in the medical field. That's not her. Everything is fashion, 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 fashion. Say, my dear, it's up to you. But this is what God is showing me about your life. God's will for your life. But it's up to you. And she made that decision to go to that medical field. I said, I don't see you as a nurse. I see you as the doctor. Very soon, the next year or the next one and a half years, I'm going to go to graduation as a medical doctor. Are you serious? Go back to school. And go finish. The Lord wants to break some curses in your bloodline, in your family. And he wants to use you. What he should have done, she didn't do it. And God is remembering to pick one of you. to Just raise up the standard. And everybody that will come after that will look up at the standard like this and they're going to follow and even cross over. Whatever. What's that, Auntie Kay? What's that, Auntie Kay? This time. I don't remember the, first, the last time I went to buy a new thing for myself. It's only yesterday I said, hey, let me go to this, you know, and go buy. Not that I don't have it. I have money I can buy. But you have something. That means you have something you are doing. I want to finish that thing until I finish it. I mean, listen to what I'm saying. Until I finish it. Before I can say, I can do this, I can do that, I can do that, do that. When I see people buying Chanel, buying that, I can buy it, 6,000, 5,000, I can buy that one. I have something that I'm doing. Would I buy that or will I do that? So put that, your education. My goal is to go to, do you understand? I use myself as an example for you to listen. My goal, your goal is I have to be a medical doctor. This is what God desires for me. Uh, I want, it's up to you. You can choose to be, you know, to for the will of God, walk in the will of God, do the will of God, or you can decide to choose to marry, have children, and all that. It's up to you. God told me, my will is for you to be with Isaac. But it comes with pain and comes with prayer. Come, But if you follow here, you marry here, you'll be happy. I you will not fulfill my will. But God was looking at this side. Revival was in. I didn't know there was revival. You were in. Everyone was in. So I decided, tears in my eyes, God, I will choose your will, but all I need is to help me. I know how I'm going to do it. But I need your help. So put something. You know I'm in school. Certain things I can't do, I can't do. My goal is to finish. So I'm going to focus and finish and do whatever I'm going to do, just like I just said. I can buy a new iPad, but I can't buy it right now because I have something I'm doing until I finish it. Later, I can do what? Whatever you're trying. I'm in school, so I, I want to focus in that school. Because later on, you're going to benefit. Later on, your children will benefit. You don't have to. Your your kids, when you go that route of God, the children don't have to struggle. They will have easy access. Do you see, not to have a rotten children, no? but they will be rotten. If you want to buy Lamborghini, you can buy Lamborghini for your child. Did your mother buy Lamborghini for you? Uh -huh. But if you decide to buy whatsoever, you can buy for the kids. 
The kid don't have to struggle, don't have to cry, don't have to do anything because why? You have paid a price. You want to go now, not when you are in your thirties. But the Lord said, it will be a struggle for you to go. But right now, I take advantage and go. But it's up to you. Hello? 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 Put everything aside and then roll back and go. Put everything aside. Because he left it one, whatever, whatever. Finish it. Ask her, show me that route here. Instead of me taking another uh, four or five years with med school, I can go this one. There are new programs have come. But before you put your head in, your head is out. You are done. Graduation. Hello? You see to wait. You put your feet on the ground. So you better go back. You're going to thank me tomorrow. You will thank me and praise God for my life. If that takes place and she will be, you will bless the name of the Lord. Father, I will give you the praise. You see, you want to do what God, do you understand? If you believe every word, then you will do what God is saying. He's giving you this thing to, hello? I want to make you great, and you too want to collect the combo one. They want to make you big, and you too you want to. Do you understand? The Lord have the desire to make you big, and you want to be settling down, get married, and then get the children, and then get the children. Get children, get children. Hello, children are good. Oh. <laughs> Do you understand? Do you, how many of you understand what God is saying? Yes. Some people, education, it is God that is giving it to them. God has a plan with that education. You're not going to make yourself big and make yourself uh, like this. But you're going because God has a plan with that. Do you understand? Because when I saw this one's own, these ones, I saw their own, all I saw, God wants to use them, their medical career, to help the needy and to help the orphans, to help so many people. People come to the office, they despair. The Holy Ghost will come upon her and whatever she needs to do after that, she thinks that they still know. She will come to a place that you're going to write prescription and all that. I don't know, whatever medical decision, you're going to write prescription. You will, write pres you will sit in your office and you hold people's hand and pray with them and then... He has a lot to a point that I'm seeing you cutting human beings. Said you're cutting, cutting. Don't know. He will take you on a different route. It is his will. Do you understand? God don't come from heaven to do anything. He go through what? I didn't come to America to be a pastor. Ha! Huh? If somebody had told me before, I would tell the person, "Na la lie." I have my own plan. I have plan come to school to do whatever I want to do to build whatever you understand is there this fashion thing ah that was the route I was in I came here purposely for that to build my school back in Africa to do all can put it I have everything planned the Lord said I didn't create you to come and do all that it is your desire when they told me man it was like a battle. Me and God, we are fighting, wrestling. Who wants to be a pastor? Me. Ha! Ah, God. Why? Why? With all the profession, you didn't call me to do anything. Hey, God. But as time goes on, as time goes on, my dear, as time goes on, the Lord wants to make you big. If I were you tomorrow, I will look for the school. Let you show the queen. You will learn African language by force. That means that I will look for that school where the school is, and go and inquire and roll back again. If left with you for few, do you know how many people have regretted? Some they have regretted today. They will not tell you, but they cry within. Because I told them, you will regret it. 
Let me tell you, you want to do, do the will of God, not your will. Me, he gave me choice. He said, this one you'll be happy, but you don't fulfill my will, my plan and everything. But here, God's, in God's mind, revival was on his mind, I don't know. I'm calling you to do something different. I'm not calling you to do this thing. But it's up to you, choose what you want. If it wasn't for God, you have left the home that you are in. If, you le if it wasn't for God, you are dead because of God. Hey, my dear. Hey, people of God. I'm not dead because of anything. I am dead. I'm still dead because of him. Yes. You will have left. You will have gone on a different date. You will have gone to go talk to another man. Are you stood there because of who? Because of one that said, it's not because of love, oh. I, it's not love. I am in here because of who? God. Because of God. As God has remembered us. May he give you speed to finish what you have not finished. This month of May that coming to an end, may he end with everything that is bad and negative in our life. As you remember, Rachel, may God remember us. May God remember us. God, remember me. Have mercy and remember me. Don't think it is difficult. The enemy have made it difficult for you. The enemy have made it that you cannot go back. Go back and focus and you will see Things will be different. You will be, ah, the Lord said all the while you are going, you will be the real student. Now you will be a school person. So all this while you are going, you are not a school person. No. A lot of things were going on. Releasing you to go and finish. Go and finish and get that your degree. And then enroll back in the medical, because you're almost done. There's so many programs. I'm trying to pray, but the Holy Ghost is leading me once again. You understand? Thank you, Lord. Don't be afraid and don't be angry. They don't be. God. Some people they are angry at God. He said, "Why are you angry at me? Me that you need to survive. Me that you need the job that you are doing. I gave you the job. Don't you know that so many people." There's so many people on the market right now. They're looking for a job. They can't get a job. And you get a job. And you dare to be angry at me. If I take the job from you, what would you do? Can you pay all the bills? Can you pay the home? Can you pay all that? You cannot pay it. I have kept you. And every, the little thing that you need me to do, do you think that those powers, those demons, those things, those witches, they are bigger or greater than me. And whatever you're dealing with, your personal things that you're going through, when God will say, when I remember you, you will forget your yesterday. You will forget your yesterday. You're the best of your life, they are ahead of you. Thank you, Jesus give you the praise. We'll give you the adoration. Yes, open your mouth and say, Lord, thank you for remembering me. Lord, thank you for remembering me. Thank you that things are changing. Thank you that things are changing. On my behalf. On my behalf. Everything is working. Everything is working. For your glory for, for, my, life. Glory for my life. As you remembered Rachel. As you remember Rachel. I give you the praise that you have I remembered me. I am remembered me. by I you. Remembered With this situation, then you mentioned your situation. The Lord, I thank you for remembering this situation. I thank you for remembering us, O oh God. Thank you that you have remembered us. Thank you that you have remembered our children. Thank you that you have remembered our household. Thank you that you have remembered your church. Thank you that you have remembered the families. Thank you that you have remembered every family. Every family, oh God, you have remembered everyone that watching. Those that will watch later, my Lord and my God. Thank you for remembering us. It is not what man is saying or man is thinking. That you, God, have remembered us. Thank you for remembering those that drug addicts. Thank you for those that, Father God, they are on drugs, those 
house of Father God. Yes, Lord. A coromas are smoking weed, oh God. Thank you for remembering them. Thank you for remembering us your mercy, oh God. That you have had mercy on us and you have remembered that. Thank you that we are not alone. Thank you that you have remembered me. You have remembered the family. You have remembered the church. You have remembered everything, oh God. You have entrusted in our hand that we are not losing anything and we are not missing anything as you keep on saying. I'm not losing anything. The church is not losing anything. The church is not losing anything in the name of Jesus. Thank you for remembering your church. Thank you for remembering your church. Thank you, oh God, for remembering the family. Thank you for remembering us, oh God. Their souls, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for remembering us, O God. In the name of Jesus, for remembering our children, remembering, O God. If I your people, O God, we thank you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for remembering us. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice and let's begin to pray that you, God, have remembered us. You have remembered us. You have remembered us. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, O God, that we have been remembered. I have been remembered. Father, in the name of Jesus, as you remembered Rachel, you have remembered us. In the name of Jesus, you have remembered your church. You have remembered the souls. You have remembered the family. You have remembered everyone. My Lord and my God. Things are turning around. Things are turning around for good, for our good. God, because you have remembered us. Lord, we bless your holy name. Lord, we praise your holy name. Lord, we thank you that we are breaking through. We are breaking through because you have remembered us. You have remembered your children. You have remembered your people. You have remembered us, oh God, in the name of Jesus. You have remembered us for good news. You have remembered us for those that need to go back to school. Father, I thank you. You have remembered them for them to go back to school, for you to give them the desire. Put their desires in your heart, my Lord and my God. I give you the praise for remembering us. I thank you for remembering us in the name of Jesus, my Lord and my God. I have been remembered. I have been remembered, oh God. I have been remembered in every area. In every area, have been remembered. In every area, have been remembered. In every area, have been remembered. In the name of Jesus, I have been remembered. Makoro masa yeki andara mose. In Doria Kata, Jeki Andoro Mose, Jeki Andoro Mose, Shaki Andoro Mose, Mandoro Mose, Makori Andoro Mose, Orian Moshekete, Makori Anuoshe, Ekoro Mose, Mokoro Mose. Lord, we thank you for remembering us. Thank you, O God. As you remembered, which are Mokoro Masa Kayandare, Emandara Mose, Kiamandara Mose, Jeki Andara Maka. Emandara Mose Kete, Maye Kete, Maye Kete, Mosie Kete, Shaku Ye Kete, Indoro Koto, Mosiki Andoro, Maye Kuri Andoro. Lord Jesus, Lord, we thank you for remembering us. Thank you for remembering us. Thank you for remembering us. Remembering the family, my Lord and my God, Moria Kiyanara. Thank you for remembering us for the work you are doing, Father, in the house. In our house, in our homes, uh, the work you are doing in the house, for you have remembered your house. You have remembered your house. Makorian Woje, Makorian Woje, Mozian Woje, Mokorian Woje, Mozikian Woje, Mokurian Dere Massa, Ekoro Massa Kayamare, Emanara Massa, Indoria Kayamare, Zekiamare, Maziamare, Maziki Emere, Morie Koto, Maye Koto. For you, God, you have remembered us. You have remembered me. You have remembered me. You have remembered your house. You have remembered the families. You have remembered the families. You have remembered the house. You have remembered my Koriakata. 
Mozi andará, e mandará Mozi andará, e que andaria na você, e macoria cacha, e macoria cacha, e noria cacha, e coromassa, e coromassa, you have remembered me, oh Lord. Thank you for remembering me. Thank you for remembering me. I've been remembered by thee. Yes, Lord, I give you the praise, Jeki Andare, that you have remembered your word. You have remembered your word. You have remembered your word. You kept your word, oh God, and bring your word to pass. Every word of the Anuji, Ekoro Mama Mama, Ekoro Masa Kayanara, Emanara Mokoriandara, Emanara Mokoriandara, Emanara Makariandara, Emanara Mokoria Kayanara, Ekiandaria Mara, Emanaria Kayanara, Emanaria Namasa, Emanaria Namasa, Ekoria Naria Namasa, Inoria Kayanaria, Emanaria Makoriandara, Emanara Masayanara, Emanara Masayanara, Emanara Masayanara, Jekiandariandara, Emanara Makayanariana, Makayanara, Emanara Mokoriandara, Jekiandariandaria, Emanariandariana, Ekoriandariana, Emanariana, Ekoriandariana, Emanariana, Ekoriandariana, Ekoriandariana, Masakayandariana, Ekiandariana, Mokoriakayandariana, Emanara Moziki Amara, Jeki Andoria Kata, Je Maye Korean Moje, Arian Moje, Ekorian Moje, Mazian Moje, Makorian Moje, Indorian Mokorian Moje, Je Maye Koto, Maye Dere Massa, Maye Dere Korianara, Ekorian Ariana Korianara, E Mandoro Koro Moje, Je Korian Moje, Ekorian Moje, E Mandorian Moje, Inderian Moje, Ekorian Arian Moje, Mazian Dorian Moje, Orian Moje, Messiolo, Messiolo, Ekorian Kata, thank you for remembering me, thank you for remembering me, thank you for remembering me, thank you, Orian Moje, Keteriana, Ekorian Mosikianara, Ekorian Moje, Keyanara, E Masakayanara, E Manara Mosie, E Manara Mosie, Jekiandara Mosie, E Mandorian Moje, Korian Moje, E Mandorian Moje, E Korian Moje, Mosian Moje, E Korian Moje, Mosian Moje, E Korian Moje, E Korian Moje, E Korian Moje, E Mandorian Moje, Mazian Moje, E Korian Moje, E Korian Dorian Moje, E Maye Korian Moje, I've been remembered, O God. I've been remembered, O God. I've been remembered, O God. I have been remembered, O God. Makaya Ndare, Ekori Akata. Thank you, O Lord. That have been remembered. That have been remembered. Ekori Anuoje, Ekoro Mose. Indoro Makaya Ndare, Mose Ndare. Yeki Ndare, Mose Ndare. Yendoro Masa, Yendoro, Yendoro Masa. E Mandara Mokori Akata, E Mandara Masa Kaya Ndare, E Mandara Masa Kaya Ndare, E Kori Ndare, E Mandara Masa, E Shaki Ndare, E Shaki Ndare, E Mandoro, E Mandoro, E Mandori Anuje, E Kori Anuje, E Mandori Ana, Kori Andori Ana, Jeki Andari Ana, Kori Andara, E Mandara Masi Andara, E Mandara Mokori Andara, Jeki Andara Ana Masa, E Mandara Mose Ketere Masa, Indori Aka Andara Mose Ketere Masa, Father we thank you O Lord, we bless you O Lord for remembering us, we give you the praise and all the adoration, thank you Jesus, thank you Lord, hallelujah, for God to remember us in the name of Jesus, give you the praise, let's lift up our hands, Father will give you the praise, thank you Lord for remembering us, for changing things in our lives, circumstances, 
chronic situation. Businesses that are crumbling. Father, you have remembered those businesses. You have remembered the marriages. You have remembered the family. Deserted situation. You have taken it. You have taken Father, charge over it. You have making it your priority and turning things around. You shame in our enemies. What they thought to the Father, it will not be. It is what is going to be. Ah. It is for everlasting you have remembered us. You are moving in our life in a way you've never moved before. We thank you, O oh God, for the change that's taking place. Thank you for the change that's taking place. Thank you for the change that's taking place. Thank you for this new change. Thank you for understanding that we'll look back and that we'll understand and give you the praise and give you the glory. We thank you, O Lord, that every sorrow now have turned around. Father, for your glory. We are now dancing in the place of sorrow. We are blessing you in the place of Father God of sorrow. Oh, Koriakata. Just as you said, is there be anyone left in the house of, of so that I can show my kindness? Thank you for showing your kindness to us. Thank you for showing in your kindness to us. Showing in your kindness to your church. Showing in your kindness to the family, the businesses. Aramosi. You are reviving what is dead. You have revived what is dead in our life. You have revived those things, oh God. Ah, Lord, we'll bless you. We'll give you the praise. We'll give you the adoration. And Lord, oh Moses, sicknesses, Father God, are giving way. They are obeying, Father God, your voice, your words, oh God. They are responding to your healing power. Koromasa, the blood, disease in the blood. You are turning and fixing, turning it around. You are fixing the disease in the blood. I give you the praise. I give you the adoration. The report will change. The reports have changed. Thank you for the reports that have changed. Thank you for the reports that have changed. I give you the praise. I thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Clap your hand for Jesus. Let me tell you, tonight is different. That God has remembered us. A change is taking place. And as change is moving with us. It's a change that going alongside with us. is changing and turning things around. Because you have remembered us. I am remembered. Take your right hand on your chest and say, I have been remembered. I have been remembered in the name of Jesus. Say, I have been remembered. And it is a good news. So I'm going to get a good news. I will get a good news. If I had had any, any job interview, I will have good news. The devil is a liar. He's moving me to the next stage. I'm going to the next stage. In the name of Jesus. Those that have forgotten about me. God has made them to remember me. I have been remembered. I am remembered. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. It's time to give your offering and everything, love offering, offering, tight, whatever, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let's share the grace and the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with us now and forevermore. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall forever and ever. Say, I am remembered. I have been remembered. God has remembered me. So things have changed. Things are moving in the direction of the way God created it. Every
everything is working together, it's moving together, it's coming to a place, and it has come to a place where God wanted. He said, everything has been settled. God has settled my account. God has settled my account. Everything is fine. I don't think you understand. Say, everything is fine. Say, my life is fine. He said, do you see that situation? That issue, it is no longer issue. Because I have been remembered. God bless you. If Jesus don't come, we'll see you back again Sunday. God bless you.